everything inside me. Elites in every society wish to manipulate images in their own way and not have their agenda and methodology revealed to the public at large. Myths, whether in written or visual form, serve a vital role of asking unanswerable questions and providing unquestionable answers. Most of us, most of the time, have a low tolerance for ambiguity and uncertainty. We want to reduce the cognitive dissonance of not knowing by filling the gaps with answers. Traditionally, religious myths have served that role, but today, the age of science, science fiction is our mythology. The masses get their worldview from movies and music, and not history books and bureaucrats. And nothing helps to solidify a paradigm in the minds of men than a big blockbuster sci-fi flick, right? the new mythologies that come from Hollywood to gives us meaning for our lives, to program us with a new perspective that is intended ultimately to break down our traditional classic views of family and relationships to, say, religion or anything like that. Hollywood exists to give us our new narrative, our new gods. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In the past videos, I have demonstrated that intentionally embedded symbolism is designed to codify reality, steering and controlling the perceptions, thoughts and behavior of the mass of humanity. One of the main skeptic arguments against the notion of hidden symbolism in the mass media is that it can all be put down to mere coincidence, random chance, and that far too many people are reading something into nothing. Skeptics would have us believe that the phenomenon is, to use the words of William Shakespeare, a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Some skeptics will actually acknowledge that the symbolism is indeed present in the mass media culture, but that the reasons are far more benign and less sinister than they are sometimes given credit. I believe that an evidentially backed argument can be constructed to demonstrate that, a. Some symbolism is present and intentionally placed, not just random and coincidental in nature. B. It is sometimes hidden or quasi-subliminally embedded, again with intent. And C. That the intent is not always benign in nature. In actual fact, anything that is intentionally conveyed by hidden means, then received and interpreted by an observer without their consent or their knowledge, is not benign in nature. It is, rather, wholly invasive. All things considered, there is no denying that we have now entered an age where the phenomenon of hidden symbolism in the output of the media is rife. The presence of arcane codes and ciphers in the output of the media is a practiced art for certain agenda players and is indicative of a subversive strategy. Certainly, the practice has been building over the last 100 years and seems to have run in tandem with the development of mass communication and the culture or entertainment media. Whilst the presence of arcane symbolism in movies and television is now clear to see, its significance is a little more elusive. This hasn't however stopped speculation. Although there are many researchers who study the phenomenon in a careful and measured way, the desire to understand the paradigm has reached something of a fever pitch on the internet, promoting confusion, delirium, and alarmism. Many people have no idea what such symbolism signifies. For the most part, this is not because they lack the intelligence necessary to recognize and comprehend actual arcane codes and ciphers, although there are a fair few examples to the contrary, Rather, it is because people do not take the time to extensively research the subject before drawing any sort of conclusions. We now live in an age where people seek out instant answers, and the internet has become the destination of choice for knowledge, irrespective of quality of analysis or dubious claims of authority. 
Because of this desire for answers, we have seen the rise of a kind of cottage industry of conspiracy and hidden knowledge experts, whose true intentions are reflected in their desire to get maximum website and video hits, combined with the possibility of becoming very wealthy via a PayPal donate button. Almost certainly promoted by the likes of Google and YouTube, although they would never dare admit it. Notes. I must stress that there are legitimate researchers and websites that display such donation tabs, and would have a hard time doing what they do without some degree of financial support. I do not include them in this analysis of the situation. The careful observer will recognize that the quality of the work of an honest and well-intentioned researcher reflects their credibility and motivations. It is something of a truism that the highest viewed videos and websites on the internet are often those with the words Illuminati or New World Order in the title, which says much about the times we live in. As a result, we are now inundated with a sea of opportunistic, self-proclaimed experts, most of whom truthfully have no clue what the Illuminati really is. They produce videos and websites, pointing to every appearance of an eye, or vague triangular shape, and declare them examples of a secret, or hidden, or elite hand. There is a sizable number of people who have no real interest in the subject at hand, yet they promote such vague notions anyway. Such cases are often motivated by nothing more than fortune and glory. I am sure that certain agenda players, recognizing how this can substantially muddle all manner of agenda-associated subjects to their advantage, have given the propagation of some of these websites and videos, via their associates in Google and the like, a significant nudge of help along the way. It is a simple and effective means to aid their aims and goals. More annoyingly, the purveyors of these videos and websites peddle all kinds of ideas and theories, yes, in these cases, they are often little more than theories, which have no basis in facts or evidence. As an example, in the next video, let's look at an oft-cited theory about the Hollywood producer, writer and director, James Cameron, and his involvement with elite secret societies. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video.